Welcome back to Silent Hill. Today, we are tackling the infamous clock puzzle. This puzzle can be a real brain twister, but don't worry, I'm here to help. Have you ever gotten stuck on this puzzle? It's okay, it happens to the best of us. Let's break it down together, step by step. Remember, even the toughest puzzles can be solved. With a little patience and the right guidance, you'll be moving forward in no time. Are you ready to unlock the secrets of the clock? Let's get started. Our first stop is room 307. This room holds many secrets and is crucial for our journey. As we step inside, the eerie atmosphere immediately sets the tone for the challenges ahead. The dim lighting and the unsettling silence make it clear that this is no ordinary room. This is where we begin our hunt for the clock hands. The room is filled with various items and clues that will aid us in our quest. It's important to search every corner and examine every detail. The clock hands are essential for progressing further in the game, so we can't afford to miss anything. To get the hour hand, we need to crack the radio puzzle. This puzzle is one of the more challenging ones in the game, requiring both patience and keen observation. The radio sits ominously in the corner, waiting for us to decode its secrets. Remember the numbers you saw earlier? They are the key. These numbers might have seemed insignificant at first, but they are crucial for solving the radio puzzle. Make sure to have them handy as we proceed. Input the correct numbers on the radio dial. This step requires precision. One wrong move and we'll have to start over. But don't worry, with a bit of practice, you'll get the hang of it. It might take a few tries to get it right, but don't give up. Persistence is key here. Each attempt brings us closer to the solution. Pay attention to the feedback from the radio. It will guide you. Once you hear static, you know you've nailed it. The static is a sign that we've successfully tuned the radio to the correct frequency. It's a small victory, but an important one. Now, check around the radio. The hour hand should be there. This is the moment of truth. Carefully search the area around the radio and you'll find the hour hand hidden among the clutter. See? That wasn't so bad. With the hour hand in our possession, we're one step closer to solving the larger puzzle. It's a rewarding feeling, knowing that our efforts have paid off. Did you find this part tricky? Let me know in the comments below. Sharing your experiences can help others who might be struggling with the same puzzle. Plus, it's always interesting to hear different strategies and tips from fellow players. With the hour hand secured, we are one step closer to solving the clock puzzle. But our journey is far from over. Now, let's move on to room 210. This room is crucial for our progress. Inside room 210, you'll find the minute hand, an essential piece of the puzzle. However, obtaining it won't be a walk in the park. To access the room, you'll need the winged key. This key is not just lying around, it requires some effort to locate. Do you remember where you picked that up? It was a significant moment in our journey. The winged key was found in a place that tested your observation skills. But I won't spoil the surprise for those who haven't reached that part yet. Once you're inside room 210, make sure to search every nook and cranny. This room is filled with hidden secrets and clues. The minute hand is hidden in plain sight, but it can be easily overlooked if you're not thorough. Think about the clues you've found so far. Each one is a piece of the larger puzzle. What could be connected to time? The answer lies in the details you've gathered. Once you find the minute hand, you'll be one step closer to solving the clock puzzle. Share your best strategies for finding the minute hand in the comments. Your tips could help fellow players who are stuck. Remember, 
patience and keen observation are key in Silent Hill 2. Every detail matters, and every clue brings you closer to unravelling the mystery. As you continue your journey, keep an eye out for anything unusual. The world of Silent Hill is filled with hidden secrets waiting to be discovered. Good luck and may you find all the pieces you need to solve the puzzles and uncover the truth behind Silent Hill. The final piece of the puzzle awaits in room M. This room holds a crucial element that will help you progress further in the game. It's a place shrouded in mystery and anticipation, and every step you take brings you closer to uncovering its secrets. But first, you'll need to crack the combination lock. This lock is not just any ordinary lock. It stands as a barrier between you and the next phase of your journey. The combination lock is a test of your patience and problem-solving skills. This lock can be a bit tricky, as the code changes depending on your difficulty setting. Whether you're playing on easy, normal or hard, each setting presents its own unique challenge. The game keeps you on your toes, ensuring that you can't just breeze through without putting in some effort. Don't worry, I've got you covered. I'll guide you through the process, step by step, so you won't feel lost or overwhelmed. Together, we'll tackle this challenge head on and come out victorious. On easy, the code is 042. This setting is designed for those who prefer a more relaxed gaming experience allowing you to enjoy the story without too much hassle. On normal, it's 204. This is the standard setting, offering a balanced challenge that tests your skills without being too punishing. And on hard, it's 402. This mode is for the seasoned players who crave a tougher challenge, pushing your problem-solving abilities to the limit. Input the correct code and the lock will open, revealing the second hand. This item is essential for your progress, and obtaining it feels like a significant achievement. Did you use the codes, or did you manage to figure it out yourself? Solving it on your own can be incredibly satisfying, but using the codes is perfectly fine too. Everyone has their own way of enjoying the game. Let me know in the comments. Share your experiences and tips with fellow players. Your insights could help someone else on their journey through Silent Hill 2. Let's build a community where we can all support and learn from each other. Now that you have all three hands, it's time to head back to the clock. Remember where it is? It's in... Well, I won't spoil the surprise. Carefully attach the hour hand, then the minute hand, and finally, the second hand. Make sure they are securely in place. Now comes the tricky part, setting the time. Think back to all the clues you've encountered throughout the game. What time holds significance? Try different combinations and see what happens. As you turn the clock hands, listen carefully you should hear a distinct clicking sound when a hand is placed at the correct number. This is your cue that you're on the right track. If you hear a dull thud, it means the hand is in the wrong position. Keep adjusting the hands and listening for the clicks. It might take a few tries, but don't give up. Remember, patience is key in Silent Hill. Which part of the clock puzzle did you find most challenging? Let me know in the comments below. Silent Hill 2 is all about exploration and atmosphere. Don't just rush through the game trying to solve puzzles. Take your time to soak in the environment, examine your surroundings and read every document you find. You never know what clues you might uncover that could help you later on. Remember, the journey is just as important as the destination. So, how did you do? Did you manage to solve the clock puzzle? Or are you still stuck on a particular part? 
share your experiences in the comments below. I love hearing from fellow gamers and learning about your unique approaches to puzzles. Your insights might just help another player who's struggling. Let's create a supportive community where we can all conquer the horrors of Silent Hill together. Thanks for joining me on this spooky adventure through Silent Hill 2. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more gaming guides, walkthroughs and let's plays. And be sure to check out my other Silent Hill 2 videos where I cover even more puzzles, secrets and tips. Until next time, stay spooky.